First, the cylinder head. Prepare all necessary tools for dismantling. Before dismantling the cylinder head, set the governor handle to stop. Turn off the main valve of the air tank. Turn off the water cooling system, fuel oil system, and the lube oil system at the mains. Then, drain the cooling water from the engine. Open the indicator safety valve of the cylinder head. Just after the engine stops, it is hot. When handling the cylinder head, wear protective gloves and take care not to burn your hands. Remove the exhaust pipe cover, the heat box cover, and the cylinder head cover. Remove the indicator safety valve. Remove the flange of the cooling water outlet located on the upper part of the cylinder head. Remove the exhaust gas thermometer. Remove the exhaust pipe and other pipes around the cylinder head. Using rocker arm shaft holder tool, remove the rocker arm shaft holder tightening nuts. Using hanger, remove the rocker arm assembly from the cylinder head. Remove the push rods. Remove the high pressure fuel oil block. Remove the cylinder head lubricating oil leak pipe. Remove the cylinder head bolt caps. Screw each of the joint bolts on cylinder head bolts. Make sure the notch faces outward so that the jack stand does not touch the neighboring cylinder head. Set the hydraulic jack on the joint bolt. Attach high pressure hose to the hydraulic jack. Before applying pressure, turn the hydraulic piston into the hydraulic cylinder as far as it goes. Mount the jack into the cylinder head bolt completely, then turn it back one turn. Raise the oil pressure to the prescribed oil pressure level. Loosen the nut. Confirm the oil pressure at which the nuts start turning and check that the cylinder head bolts have been tightened securely. Lower the oil pressure slowly with a pump release valve. Before removing the high pressure hose, tighten the hydraulic jack once to discharge the oil. Remove hydraulic jack, jack stand, and joint bolt. Remove the fuel injection valve holding nut and flange. Remove the inlet connectors of the nozzle holder.
Using the proper tool, pull out the nozzle holder. Install the fuel injection valve holding flange and attach the cylinder head hanging tool to the fuel injection valve holding bolts. Using the cylinder head hanging tool, remove the cylinder head. Sling the cylinder head slowly, not to give flaw to the threads of the cylinder head bolts. Also pay attention not to let cooling water in the cylinder head penetrate into the cylinder. When placing the removed cylinder head in position, be careful not to damage its bottom. Remove the cylinder head gasket and O-ring. After removing the cylinder head, be sure to place a cover over the cylinder liner and intake pipes to avoid getting any dust or debris into the engine. Remove the starting valve. Using the special tool, remove the four intake and exhaust valves simultaneously. Using valve spring tool, push in the intake and exhaust valve springs. Mark identifications on the valve top end to differentiate the valves by type and by cylinder number before removal. Remove the valve cotters. Remove the valve rotators. Remove the valve springs and the spring seats. Lay out removed parts and check damage, corrosion, and contact mark. Make marking to the valve head of intake exhaust valve and remove all valves. Before maintenance, check for carbon buildup on the combustion surface and intake and exhaust ports of the combustion chamber. Be sure to clean the combustion surface properly. Perform the color check. Pay special attention to the combustion surface because it is exposed to high temperature and high pressure. Perform the color check properly based on the work instruction manual. To wipe off the penetrant, do not spray the washing directly. The stem diameter of the intake and exhaust valves are measured at three different points with the micrometer. Using the calipers, Measure the thickness of the valve seat height. Take measurement according to the chart. Measure the intake and exhaust valves and the valve guides. Record those measurements. Conduct the facing up of the intake and exhaust valves. Apply oil to the valve stem. Use various grades of carbo rondum in the order of the coarse grade to fine grade. When using a coarse grade, grind the valves by tapping. Use the finer grade for finishing work. Here you grind the valves by turning. Conduct the oil facing up. Finally, check the points of contact with bearing blue. 
To reassemble the intake and exhaust valves, just reverse the order of the dismantling procedure. However, check the identification marks on the upper part of the stem not to confuse the intake valves and exhaust valves. There are also embossed marks of I, intake, and E, exhaust on the head side. The intake and exhaust valves have the same shape and dimensions. Take utmost care not to mount them in wrong positions. Attach valve spring tool, pressing down the valve spring, remove valve cutters. After reassembly, check cutters are sound completely. Tap the upper parts of the intake and exhaust valves with a plastic hammer and check for anti-clockwise rotation of the valve rotator. Apply grease to the O-ring of starting valve body. Confirm the gasket of starting valve seat and install the starting valve. Fit the starting valve cover and tighten with a prescribed torque. Fit the indicator safety valve. 